Hi everybody, my name is Amandi. I am an international speaker, trainer and mentor. I run my company called Emerging Brilliance, which is the number one company in the world on MET training, which is Mind Empowering Technology. And uh, Emerging Brilliance mission is to inspire and empower humanity through experiential based learning, yeah. because the learning gets deeper when you learn by doing things. Brilliant. And uh, I do workshops in the UK, in, yeah. mostly in London and even in India. And I am assistant trainer for a company called Frontiers Training. And uh, I've been doing this for the last seven years and I have a few clients, you know, have got really amazing results from uh, a space, you know, where they started three months with me. They were able to buy houses, they were able to change relationships, you know, they had. And they were even able to go into some better jobs which they wanted to have in their life. Uh, I would say it's a very, very powerful question. Yeah. I mean, uh, for me, gratitude, you know, is being uh, thankful for every single thing you have in your life. Yeah. Uh, my childhood, you know, has been a very a challenging one where uh, my whole family used to live in a one room house and I had a lot of challenges around of, you know, how I can get educated and become the person I am today. But the best thing, you know, is that even during that challenge, uh, I had this experience, you know, that I had a roof on top of my head, I had food on my table and I had my parents, you know, to take care of me. I mean, the gratitude is something which if you experience, as per my personal, uh, you know, understanding, you cannot get into a mode of ego because either gratitude can exist or either ego can exist. You know, it's only when you stop looking at things you have in life, which, I mean, if you're alive, right, you do have something in your life, you know, to be grateful about. It's, it's just, the, you know, the breathing you're taking in, I mean, to be alive itself is, being, is, is, is a great experience in itself. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, if you start looking at things you have in life, uh, the understanding of life gets very different. And then more, you attract more things in life by being in acceptance with what you have mm -hmm. so the universe knows that you're happy and then they give you more. It's very simple, you know, actually. Um, it starts when you start your day in the morning, right? Yeah. I mean, if you can just practice, uh, uh, there's something called gratitude prayer. For only 60 seconds, you know, it can impact your life in many ways. I mean, if you wake up, right, and you can, you can see yourself, you know, being in a bed, that's the first thing, you know, you could be grateful about. I mean, if you're healthy, right, because this body itself is a magic. It's, it's a gift being given by the universe to you. I mean, if you can see, right, if you can talk, I mean, if you can move your hands, you know, if you can come out of the bed, right, it's all you are grateful about, you know, in life. And then the rest of the things will follow for you. But first place, you know, is to see yourself in a space of having this gift. You know, this body itself is a gift, you know. I mean, for me to see, to talk, I mean, to interact with you right now, to give this interview, you know, to be sitting on the sofa, to have a bed, you know, to, uh, to sleep on, and then, you know, have food on the table when I wake up in the morning to have breakfast. So it's all the things, you know, you, have, you can look into to, to practice gratitude. And the first thing, as I said, you know, is that when you wake up in the morning, just spend 60 seconds, you know, looking at what is that you have in your life right now and you're thankful to God for having that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I practice gratitude every single day. Yeah. Uh, there would be some occasions, you know, when I miss it in the morning, yeah. but I will make sure, you know, that during the day I do that. Uh, for me to actually sit here and, you know, give an interview to you has been an amazing journey. So I'm really thankful for, you know, for my life to shape up in this way. In terms, you know, if I go back and see the challenges which were there in my childhood, now I know the reasons why they were there. You know, I am, I'm very grateful for every single experience of my childhood which I've been through, right? To be in the place where I am today, you know, for me to actually go ahead and teach people of having, you know, a, a right ultimate attitude, you know, or to practice gratitude comes from that space, you know, where I had limitations, I had challenges, you know, with funds and I had challenges, you know, with what I can actually buy in terms of materialistic life and even to actually get my education done. You know, my, my, my father was a tax driver and he really had to work hard. He's completely, you know, he's illiterate. So he had to really work hard to, you know, make, give me the education for me to actually come up and, you know, speak in an international language, which is English, has been an amazing journey. So I would say, you know, that gratitude really plays a big, big role in my life. And I'm very, very thankful for the universe to place me in a position right now, you know, where it's a big achievement for me. I, would, I probably haven't thought that I would be here in London, you know, and uh, would be speaking from the stage and, and inspiring, empowering people, you know. 
But I'm really thankful right now, you know, for everything which has happened in my life so far. I teach that during my workshop, which is Attitude to Gratitude. Uh, basically, you know, uh, challenges will happen in life. I mean, uh, that's the part of life. And I also, you know, talk about things, you know, where there is nothing called a positive attitude. For a positive to exit, the negative has to be there. You know, it's a bipolar situation of life. You know, for one, to, like for darkness to exist, you know, light has to be there. And for the light to be there, darkness has to exist. Mm -hmm. So what I would really highly recommend, you know, somebody is to first, when you have a challenge, right, and you find negativity around you and you see there's nothing you can be grateful about, you, the first thing you do, you know, you actually accept the challenge which is in your life. I mean, if you have a relationship breakup or if you've been, uh, you know, uh, if, you, if you lost your job or if you lost money in your business, right? That's a challenge in your life, okay? So the first thing you do, you know, this is what I've learned from Tej Gyan when I was in India, is you use the acceptance bracket. You know, you put the challenge in the bracket and you, you say, you know, that I accept this situation. Now, some of the people, they ask us a question, uh, ask me a question, you know, that what happens if I don't accept it? which is okay you know for a human being not to accept a situation so what do you do you know you say that I accept the fact that I don't accept this situation mm -hmm. so when you actually accept the fact that you're not accepting this you are in that first step towards acceptance mm -hmm. and when you accept for the first you know when you accept something it becomes easier to handle the situation it's like you know you're in resistance with something right you're not accepting it but when you are in harmony with each other you accept the challenges happen now you have to look ahead then you are in a better position the second thing you do, you know, is that you actually thanks the director for creating the situation and, you know, you say good, well done to the character. Basically means, you know, that anytime any incident happens, there is human, there are some, there are some characters involved in it. And when I say the director, it means the God, you know. Yeah. So you actually thank, the, thank God for creating that situation and you thank that person because they have created the challenge for you. Yeah. Because if my life, you know, if my, let's say my call center business had done well, I would not have been here. If my computer center business would have done well, I would not have been here. If my car business, which I ran, you know, at the age of 25, was good enough, I would not have been here. So all these incidents had to happen, which were major challenges and breakdown for my life, for me to be in this place where I am today. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do, you know, is you, you say that I accept, or I don't ex I accept that I don't accept. And then, the, 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 and then you come on to the fact that, you know, you thank the director, and you, uh, you thank the director, and you say, good, you know, well done to the character. Mm -hmm. And the third thing you, know, you, would, you would do is, Stop uh, the repeat order. It's simply, you know, when you go to a restaurant, if you like a food, you, you would like to have more. But something if you do dislike, right, I'm sure, you know, you would, like, you would not like to repeat that order. Mm. So once you have ordered it and you know the taste, you stop, you know, the, uh, the order of repeat, you know, repeating that. So if you follow these three steps, right, you know, it's, it's very, you get, you get into a place where you can actually find more better solutions for, for your challenge and see that there are things in life which you can be grateful about and you will find more resources in life. I mean, to be honest, you know, it's, it's a, I would like to give you more uh, tools on this hmm. and if you would like to actually know more, you know, that I would really highly recommend people who are watching this to come to my workshop hmm. because then we actually go through a complete process experientially to uh, how to actually, you know, come from a place of acceptance and be grateful of any challenges you have in life.